Hello my beautiful bookish friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the end of the year book tag. Uh, so let's jump into it. I have a big stack of books to talk about. Uh, so you've probably seen a lot of people do this. I think I did it last year. Um, but I want to do it again. I want to try and do it every year and see how each year varies. So the first question in this tag is, are there any books you start and you need to finish? Yes. And I am currently working on them. I am working on finishing The Insider. It's the last book in the Kingdom Keeper series. I am on page 162 and I want to finish it by the end of the month. I am doing a reading vlog with all the books I'm reading for this month in a Reading My Rainbow vlog. This is my purple book. Um, so be on the lookout for that. That'll come at like the end of the month. But yes, I really want to finish reading this before the end of 2020 just because I've been reading it for so long and I just want to get through it and get it out of the way. The next question is, do you have any autumnal books to transition you into the end of the year? I feel like I should have done this video earlier for this question, um, but it's already snowed here, so fall is kind of over, but I still have some fall books I want to read, um, and that is The Lantern's Ember. I've had this on my list since Summerween, which I didn't get to participate in um, because of my eyeball being smashed. Um, but I want to I want to try and read this book. It's not very long and the concept just really intrigues me. So I want to try and read this. And I also want to try and read The Guest List by Lucy Foley. Just because it kind of has like a autumn winter vibe anyway. Um, kind of dark and rainy. So I think it's more about the mood than the actual setting itself. Um, I'm not one who really likes reading a lot of Christmas books. So these kind of reads are what I read from the end of fall into winter and even through winter. So I have these two. The next one is, are there any new releases that you're waiting for? I think all the books I was waiting to get released have come out or are coming out this month. I'm not someone who pays like a ton, a ton attention to new releases. I pay more attention to if the end of a series I'm reading or the next book of a series that I'm reading comes out then I pay attention to the release dates. But as of right now, I think everything that I wanted to get my hands on is out and I have. This question is, are there three books you wanna read by the end of the year? I mean, this whole shelf I wanna to get to, but I think it's a bit unrealistic. So these are the ones that I definitely wanna to get to. Um, I have Capturing the Devil by Karen Maniscalco. I wanna finish the Jack the Ripper series just cause I love it so much. And this is probably the next books I will start because it's so, long uh but this is just one of my favorite series ever and i want to see if that she wraps it up the way i think she will so this is the first <laughs> one i want to read the shadow glass again this is the end of the bone witch series which i love and adore so so much so i want to try and get through this one just so i can wrap the series up and then hopefully you're sensing a theme here uh, Steel Tide, which is the second novel in the trilogy of the Seafire series. Can't think of what the third one's going to be called, uh, but I want to read this one to get caught up before the third book comes out. I also want to try and get to The Christmas Sisters and The Afterlife of Holly Chase, just because these are my only two like Christmas-centered books. I definitely want to read these in the weeks leading up to Christmas. Um, and I really like the concept of this one because I am a bit of a Scrooge myself. I'm not a big Christmas person, uh, but this one seems like kind of warm and wonderful. So I guess I can thaw my cold dead heart for one book this year. Uh, the next question is, are there any books that could be late favorites? I definitely think that if I get to the Shadow Glass and Capturing the Devil, those could be late favorites um, just because I already know I love the series. Um, if they wrap up right. The Lantern's Ember also could be a favorite. I have quite a few favorites already this year. It was a very good reading year um, for me, all things considered. So hopefully that could be a favorite and also The Insider could definitely be a late breaking favorite. And the last question is, have you made reading plans for 2020? I have made tentative reading plans just because I do not know what's gonna happen. Uh, obviously no one does with this upcoming year. Um, we might be getting shut down again. So if we're shut down into 2020, then yes, I will be reading a ton. I will try and get through every single book on the shelf, which of course is always the goal. Um, but the solid plans that I do have are to read 70 books. This year I read 60 
and I am going to be surpassing that goal. Um, finish any series I have outstanding here or that are cut like the ends are coming up. Uh, read some more graphic novels that are not superhero related because uh, I really like some of the ones I read this year. And then uh, I want to do standalone January. So I'm going to do all standalones in January, no companion novels, no series, just one and done sort of things. And then in February, I want to do like romance February. So that is it for my end of the year book tag. If you guys did one yourself, leave it down below. I love seeing people's answers for these things. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.